Hello everyone, Green Gemini here, back with your next episode of Oxygen Not Included. So, I've gone through and let the game run a little bit. I was doing a couple of tweaks here and there and noticed that uh, up here we had an issue with our um, polluted water coming out of our bathroom system and you know we had it running over here but then it got completely well it's it's not that yeah it got completely backed up um why are you making a mess joshua because you are stuck that is why oh anyway <laughs> um so what happened was uh all of the polluted water was you know going over to here it wasn't being absorbed fast enough so then it got backed up and we didn't have a way for it to go over here. So I kind of, I went in, readjusted it to where it'll come out this end and this end and it'll be split both ways. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, and then I went ahead and made sure that all of the, uh, the temp shift plates that we put in here are now in place. Um, and then I added some automation in here. And the reason for that was because this whole system was being completely drained of power. Um, and that's because this was running constantly. Even if there wasn't anything in here for hydrogen wise, it was still running because that's how we had it set up. So I added an OR gate in here. So this will now only activate if this or this sensor are activated. So when these are activated, this gets activated. Makes sense, right? So now we have a little bit of hydrogen built up in here and because of adding that automation in here we now don't have dupes constantly coming over here to run and then we also have a tiny bit tiny tiny bit of hydrogen being stored up in the pipes um, which is allowing these to go um, and fill the batteries up without having to have any dupe intervention. So we'll kind of see how this system goes. We'll, we'll see how it works out. Um, and then I also dug out this little area over here too, um, mostly because we don't really need that stuff in there. Get all of that mopped up. Now today what I want to do is what I had stated at the end of the last episode. This is nice and cool down here. This is good. Uh, has that gone dormant? Yes. So to kind of help with some of the um, getting some more water down here and everything and keeping this area cool, we're going to go into this um, this cool slush geyser that's up here. Now, it's only active for another 13.8 cycles, uh, which will be OK. Um, it'll build up a little bit of a little bit of polluted water in here. Uh, what I do need to do is I do need to get a couple of deodorizers on each end so that when this starts emitting uh, polluted oxygen that it gets cleaned up. So we'll get that built and get those in there. So the idea of what I want to do here is to get a little bit of an automation system set up to where water is constantly looping through and then when it gets to a certain temperature it then gets kicked out of the loop now with this not being as active with oxygen um, it had cooled down a little bit uh, but now it has warmed back up which is exactly why we need to get this done <laughs> um, so I also made sure that we researched these mini pumps because I think those are gonna be those might be a little bit easier to run um, I don't know, let's see, so liquid power 60 watts, 100 or 1000 grams a second is what they pump, and I don't know if that's going to work or not, um, because that does 10 kilograms a second, and I think it would be better to have this one. So let's put that in there, we'll run power over to it. Honestly, I don't want to use the Wolframite, but it's what's available around here, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to tap into this one. And then we're going to go with insulated pipe. 
go with granite, since granite is very abundant around here. And that come down through here. Now, this is where it's going to get a little bit interesting. So, I want to do a liquid shutoff. We're going to do a couple liquid shutoffs, and then we're going to do... Um, oh, actually, I'm not entirely sure yet. I'm not sure how we're going to do this. But we're going to have a loop, and we're going to do it to where... Let's keep this on. Um, let's have the insulated pipe... We'll then come down this way, around this way, because the water is going to come into the system here, okay? And then we have the water looping around into this way, and then we're going to put a liquid pipe sensor here. And we're going to say if the temperature is at a certain temperature, whatever it's going to be, um, okay, then it will go into here. Hang on, I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think of how, if this is going to get in the way. Okay, got it. So it'll go into here. Um, say we have the thermosensor set up to, I don't know, say f 60 degrees. So if it goes above 60, then the liquid shutoff will activate and it will kick out that liquid down this way. Oops, oops, oops. That's not... Yeah, it'll kick it out this way. Do we want to go... We'll go this way with it. Okay. And then if it is not, obviously it will not activate. So we'll go in here. If it's not activated, it will continue to go through. Hang on. We'll continue to go through. It'll bridge over here. It'll bridge back up to here. And then we need to have a liquid shutoff up here as well. So we're going to do a liquid shutoff here. <coughs> That will go here. We're going to put this going this way. Let's have this go up here. That go up here. And this loop back into the system here. Okay. Have that connect to that, that connect to that. Okay. And then we'll get the automation in here. And I'll kind of explain this here in a little bit. I know I'm not explaining it very well. Um, we'll say that will activate, and then it will also activate that one. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. All right. So water will come down into the pipe, and here's our system. Okay. So if the liquid sensor is, say, we have the liquid pipe sensor and it's above 60 degrees, okay, it will activate this liquid shutoff. The water that is above 60 degrees will get kicked out of the system. It will also activate this one, turn this one on, and insert more liquid, colder liquid, into the system okay and then that will start to travel through if it is greater or less than 60 degrees this will not be activated and the water should 
continue through this and then it'll jump over here bridge over here and then continue its loop back through and that way it'll have a continuous loop of water coming through here <laughs> okay I hope that makes sense uh, once we get it built you should be able to see it in action um, Hang on, what do we have this at? This is currently at 600. We're adding to 40. So I'm gonna say that needs to go to there. That needs to go to there. Okay. They're actually getting this built fairly quickly. Let's get that done and let's get just put this at a priority nine because I want to make sure that this gets done very, very quickly. And this water up here is 38 degrees. This is 13 degrees. So oh, I'm afraid that if this drops into that, it will freeze. Um, which, I mean, it's no big deal, I guess. Let's see. Temperature down here. So, yeah. So, we'll see how this... Uh, radiates out and cools this down down here and then this is also going to help in the long run too because the oxygen that's coming out of here right now is about 70 80 degrees uh, which then gets pumped into our base and i would prefer that this get pumped into the base at about at a normal like staying at about 70 degrees ish that's that's kind of what i would hope for you know so, uh, but this should get done fairly quickly. This might end up being a quick episode. I'll be happy with that. <laughs> um, so then as they're building the rest of that, let's talk through what's going to be next. And next is going to be uh, getting up here for space. And I think one of the best ways to do that is we're going to end up putting a transit tube in here. Um, Let's see, do I have access to a transit tube, I guess is my question. Let's see, base, no, utilities, have we researched that yet? That's the question. It should be, it should be. No, we haven't. All right, we're going to need to make sure we research that. Yeah, definitely. Definitely need to research that. So we'll get that done. We'll get this taken care of. Because what I want to do is we're going to make it... I want to make it as simple as possible to keep these guys going at a quick pace here. Um, so I think a transit tube will go here. And then we'll have to get rid of probably this. We'll go, st go up, over, up, over... And then straight up this way. It just makes it a lot faster for them to travel rather than using this. I mean, I could use... Do we have... We don't have plastic staircases yet either. Is that also in the transit tube? No. It's right here. Okay. There's a lot of stuff that we still need to research and unlock here, apparently. Ugh. Did not realize that. Okay. Well, that's okay. And that's fine. That's fine. Um, we can get that taken care of. No big deal. It does look like we are going to need to add a couple more of these in here. Just by looking over that. Um, I do want to add in uh, an exosuit forge or an exosuit area here to where we can get into all of this stuff up here. Um, that'll be when we tame our iron volcano and that will come soon let's do gold amalgam uh let's do 50. might as well put wool for my tungsten in there too how much steel do we have we have 11 tons of steel how awesome is that lime is the biggest issue that we're having right now lime is always the issue when it comes to steel always at least in my experience. I don't know how we have 16 kilograms of oxalite, but, you know, we'll roll with it. Okay, um, looks like we have just about everything done here. 
Okay, so that is done. What about all of this up here? Oh, oh, we are done. Okay. Uh -huh. So we have liquid in the system. So you can see there's nothing going into the system as of yet, right? And that is because our um, temperature threshold for this is actually showing negative 457 degrees. Uh, so in order for this to get to be active, we're going to need to take this at green signal if below um, negative... Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. We can we can do this very easily. Um, I don't know what I'm thinking about. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, so we're going to set this to where if the temperature is above 60 degrees, then it will activate. Now, in order to get it to activate right now, we're going to say below 60 degrees. So that'll activate this. That'll get water into the system. And then we're going to say we're, we'll cut it off and we'll say above 60. So if this ends up becoming above 60, that will open up. But since it's not above 60, it is putting it back into the loop. And then the water is now coming back through here. And it is warming up. It is at 37 degrees. Okay, it was at 28. Now it was at 27. Or it was at 28. Now it's at 37. And now it's coming back in here. It's at 43. So we can kind of see here, this is where... We are starting to cool off now. Okay. So it's taking the heat. It's going through with the temp shift plates, cooling everything off up here. And then as it warms up completely, which I don't know if... Where are we at? So we're at 50. 50. Still at 50 degrees. I don't know where that's getting... 16 degree mark, but I mean, it's still pretty good. <clears throat> I mean, it, this might actually take a little while to, uh, <laughs> to actually, um, well, here, here's the problem though. So we do have a 60 degree thing in here, but it's not being kicked out of the system. Hold on. We have a slight issue happening here. Yeah, see, it's not, it should be activating this one too, but I don't think it's, it's not activating it long enough. No, it is. Pipe blocked. Oh, because, you know what? <laughs> because we did not, oh, this is my own fault. I knew, and I even told myself as I was setting this up, and I'm sure you guys are sitting here yelling at me for this. So that needs to go like that. That needs to go in here. Get that in there. Get this in here. And actually, I want that to be a right now. Like, that has to be done. That is why the system is failing me right now. <laughs> and I'm going to have to see. The system has locked up. Err. That's why I built it like this, so that this wouldn't happen. Okay, so do I have a plumber? Do I have someone that is a plumber? Cleaning duties. Let's go to nine. I do not have a plumber. Okay. We're going to have to go and do this <sighs> the old-fashioned way. Um, so give me, I don't know, deconstruct like that. And then this will, <laughs> it'll fix itself. <laughs> it'll fix itself here in a minute. Come on.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's get that back in here. Let's go ahead and mop that up as well. Now we've got, see, we've got a decent amount of polluted water up here. Now, granted, since this has been sitting in here for a little bit, it's now up to 77 degrees, but that's okay. This will get itself moving again, and then we'll, uh, we'll be okay. We'll be all right. Cannot believe I messed that up. Yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. Because that's what I usually do when playing this game. This always happens to me. Can, can I get this done now? I'd like to get this done now. That way we can get this taken care of. Come on. There he comes. There you go. All right. There you go. So now that activates. Now that's active. There you go. See, now it's kicking it out of the system. There. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So. Polluted water being kicked out. That is too warm. And now we have it going round and round. Bypassing this and then looping over. And let's see. This is up to, what, 45, 55 degrees. There you go. See, nice and cool now. Nice and cool. Jesus. <laughs> but we're done. We're good. Right? We're good. That is how you do a cooling system. Um, yeah, you can... Um, I mean, these only take, what, 10 watts of power, right? Yeah. So, very, very simple. Very easy. And this way, you don't have... I mean, you can do it to where you have a, a constant loop. You know, you can have the water continuously going through um, and coming all the way back up if you wanted to do that. But I have found that it it's a lot better to conserve the water and do it this way. And you can do it with, I mean, you don't even necessarily have to do it with just water. You can do it with other things too. You can do it with uh, petroleum. Petroleum is actually a really good one to use. It's actually what I use a lot of. Um, However, I don't have means of cooling that petroleum down right now. I don't want to do that. I want to do something like this. And I like this. Uh, let's mop that up and make sure that that gets swept up. Okay. So there you go. So this has been nicely cooled. And it will keep going through the loop. Um... As long as if these aren't active and not creating any heat, this water will last us for a while. It will, especially when this only has eight cycles left to go. So, <sighs> but there you have it. We're, wow, we're actually done with what I wanted to do very, very quickly today. That's awesome. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and take a look at a couple of other things. Uh, one is that the base needs to be expanded. Um, and we're going to need to get into here to do it. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to go through and get a bunch of um, deodorizers put into here and get this cleaned up. I do want to get another duplicate in here. Um, and I think Nicola is probably going to be the best one. Plus three athletics, plus three construction, um, decreased air consumption, and cannot cook. I'm fine with that. We have plenty of room here available for dupes. Uh, to be in here. Uh, maximum tile size is 64. So we just need one, two, three, four. Uh, I'm just randomly placing four in there. Actually, I don't even need to do that. Nope. We're going to take this and put a double door in here. Uh, that we need to open. This we need to open. That needs to be locked. Those are all open. Why haven't my pips been pulled in here yet? Uh, wrangle. Uh, 
Let's see, grab my pips. Please. Oh, let's see, open that one. Lock. Oops. Lock that one. Okay. Sweep that stuff up before it spoils. Okay, so we're good with food, right? Yeah, we've got 1.6 million K cows. All right, so down here, we want to go through and we want to start cleaning this up. Um, granted, it doesn't help that we have a bunch of crap down here. How did you get in here? Interesting. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. That needs to be deconstructed. We have water coming down here. It's fine. We have gold being made up here, which is good. What is the temperature that is in here? 288 degrees. Okay. Just want to make sure that our coolant is not completely overheating. 300 degrees in here. 299. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Definitely need as much steel as we can possibly get. All right, so in here, let's go with mesh tiles because those seem to work a little bit better than uh, airflow tiles for some reason. Um, and then I'm thinking we go like every other. Oh, whoops. No. <laughs> Hang on. Let's make this out of gold since that's the area we're in. Uh, if I go, if I said every other. That, that, and I'm curious to see how much of this can get cleaned up with just by doing this and deconstruct that. Let's get this whole thing built because I really want to get this cleaned up. If we can get this cleaned up and if we can get a lot of this slime lung out of here. And the only reason why the slime lung is still active up here in oxygen is because of all of the slime lung that is active down here. Um, and then next episode we will work on uh, getting the... No, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm not. Uh, I do want to go ahead and get, let's do an insulated tile. Uh, igneous rock, I think will be good. Coming through here. But we need to prepare and get our petroleum worked up here. Let's have that go in. How do I want the petroleum to go up here? Probably up through this way. Uh, that's igneous. That needs to be granite that's in here, not igneous rock. So we need to go, we're going to do a little bit of preparing here. Let's go with granite coming through here. Let's go through that way. Yep, that can cut through here then. Uh, we'll have it cut all the way up through here. What is that pipe for? That, okay, that is polluted water. Uh, continue that through. Ooh, we've got a little bit of a mess here. No, that's okay. We have that that can be done. Continue this through here, up through here, and through there. And then we can have this then go all the way up through here. Whoops. And then we'll stop it right about there because I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to go up this way yet. So we have polluted water here, which will help. I think what I want to do is we'll go in. Can't go in from here. 
man, I really wish this thing would go dormant. <laughs> I want to get that vacuumed out. Um, I have an idea of what I can do up here. I think I might take the petroleum and cut this off. Put a liquid lock in here. Pump the gas that's in here into here to get this done so we can access the rest of this area. I think that's what we're going to do. Not today, though. Um, <laughs> it'll be preparation that we do on the side. Probably an in-between episode. Alright, so that's getting built. That's getting built. These are getting... These are built. Uh, priority 7 for duties. Actually, let's go ahead and make it an 8. I want to get these done. I want to get those filled up with sand. And I want to start getting this area cleaned up. So we'll have the petroleum that comes all the way up here. While they're filling that up with sand, let's go ahead and prepare for our liquid lock to go in here. So that would go there. This we'd copy over to here. That would go here. Liquid lock here. Enter in through there. Close that off. And then we're just going to take... Ventilation. I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but here I am doing it. <laughs> so... Uh, that can go to here. Okay. And then we'll finish that later. They're eating. Are we working? We're working. Yes, we're working. Yes. Oh, clean this crap up. Not entirely sure how long that's going to take, but it's at least starting to go through and work. Um, we've got so much polluted oxygen down here. It's ridiculous. But we're going to leave it there. We are. We will leave it there for today. So questions, comments, concerns, you know what to do. Put it in the comment section down below. Looks like we have a little bit of a carbon dioxide issue down here that we have to clean up too. Um, but yeah, that is all I have. So thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.